Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, August 27, 1965, a bomb ripped apart the car of George McCall, the president of the Natchez chapter of the NAACP and an employee of the Armstrong Tire and Rubber Company. McCall had recently received a promotion at work, making him a target of the local KKK. And he had been campaigning to end school segregation, submitting a petition to the school board just the week before on August 19th. Although initial reports claimed that he had died in the attack, miraculously, McCaff survived the bombing, although he was seriously injured. Although he returned to his job at the tire plant, McCaff never fully recovered from his injuries. The attempt on McCaff's life galvanized the resolve of the local African-American community. Charles Everett, brother of slain civil rights leader Mega Evers, arrived in Natchez and addressed a crowd of over 1,000 who had lined the streets as part of a mass rally. On August 28, the day after McCaff's car was bombed, local black leaders presented a list of demands to Natchez Mayor John Noser and the Board of Aldermen. Among those demands were the desegregation of the city schools, the appointment of African Americans to the school board, and the enactment of a housing code to eliminate slums. I am Carly McNeely, a junior at Natchez Early College Academy, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.